audio jungle. Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your productivity with your email. So at the moment, I have several email addresses, which I have to log into different accounts to check. So what I've decided to do, and as you can see by this particular inbox, I haven't really organized it and there's emails everywhere. So I'm on this mission to organize my email and therefore increase my productivity. So my first step is to transfer all my emails from my BT internet account, which is the same as Yahoo, into one Gmail account so I can filter and I can manage my emails much more effectively. Because at the moment it's starting to get unmanageable. So what you need to do in order to do this is you need to come up to the gear in the top right hand side of your Gmail account and click on the drop down list and click on settings. You now need to go to accounts and then add a pop three mail account you own. And here you need to put in your email address, then click next step. And then you need to enter in your password. You can then, you'll then see that the pop information is automatically entered into the correct places. You can choose to leave a copy of the retrieved message on the server if you wish to. So I'm just going to check that. And it will label incoming messages if you wish. So you'll know which ones come from which email address. So I'm going to check that, but I may change the label um, title later on. And you can also choose to archive incoming messages, but I've, I've left that um, unchecked. Then click add account. And it also now asks you if you'd like to be able to send email from this alternative email address. And I'm going to leave that as a yes for now, but I may well change it later on. Then I'm going to click next step. And I want it as Jennifer Bailey and the email address. That's fine. So click next step. I'm going to leave that. I like the easy way to set things up. So I'm going to leave that one as send through Gmail and click next step. And now what they want to do is a verification that I actually own this email address. So we click ver send verification. And now I should have a verification code in my BT internet account. So I'm going to go to there now and just refresh the mail. And you can either verify it by clicking on the link or by copying the confirmation code. So I'm just going to highlight the confirmation code, control C on my keyboard. And then I'm going to go into here and control V on my keyboard to put it into the box and click verify. So now it has Jennifer S. Bailey as one of my email addresses, as well as the Jennifer Bailey at Gmail there. And you can change which is the default one. And also checking other messages. So it's basically fetched 200 messages from my BT internet account. So now if I go back to my inbox, you will see that the the messages that have been brought across have now got a different label. So it's labeled at the moment as my BT internet mail. Now, I don't particularly like that label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into more emails and come down to Jennifer S. Bailey and click edit. And I can change that there to BT internet, which is much shorter and neater and click save. And now you'll find that all of the messages that come from my BT Internet account have got that label on them. Now, obviously, in this video, I've showed you how to do it with BT Internet and those settings. Now, I found a really handy website, which I'll show you, and it's called redstampmail.com. And here I've basically followed their instructions on how to import my mailbox, my BT Internet mailbox into Gmail. But what you can use to do is click change 
here next to BT Internet and it gives you all of the other configurations for all the other types of um, internet providers, email providers, so you can change your own. I'm Jennifer Bailey and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Audio Jungle.